In this lesson, I'll show you how to use Newton's method to approximate solutions of equations. Just keep in mind that the Newton's method is used as an alternative solution method if an equation cannot be solved algebraically or if the algebraic approach is difficult. And usually when an equation has a power that's greater than two, it starts to get hard to find its roots. And that's where this method is handy. The question reads, use Newton's method to find one root of the equation x to the power of three minus five x is equal to five to one decimal place. Now the question tells us to take x is equal to three as a first guess. Although when it comes to picking your first approximation, which in our case is three, you would have to roughly graph it as best as you can, maybe with a table of values. So I've gone ahead and graphed it electronically and the computer gave me an approximate root and that's probably the reason why the question wants us to start at 3. Let's see if we can find this manually, the number 2.6, using Newton's method. Newton's method utilizes this recursion formula shown here, and here's how to use it. First, you want to take the derivative of your function. Bring all the terms to one side and make one side equal to 0. So I'll bring this 5 over, and I end up with x to the power of 3 minus 5x minus 5. And currently, this is an equation. So put it into function notation. We have f at x is equal to x to the power of three minus five x minus five. The next thing is you want to find its derivative. So f prime at x is equal to three x squared. I'm using the power rule for all three terms, minus five plus zero. We're taking the derivative of a constant that gives us zero. Once you have the function and the function's derivative, you want to evaluate both of these functions at x is equal to 3. Remember, your first approximation. Your first approximation gets substituted into both. This becomes f at 3 is equal to 3 to the power of 3 is 27 minus 15, which is 12, minus 5 is 7. And similarly, f prime at 3 is equal to 22. And this is where the formula comes into play. Notice that the formula is x subscript n plus 1 is equal to x subscript n minus these two. What we have to do is divide what we found for f at 3 with f prime at 3. 7 divided by 22 and take this number and subtract it from x subscript n, your first approximation. 3 minus 7 over 22 is equal to x subscript 2. Let's find what this is using our calculator. 3 minus 7 over 22 gives us 2.68. 2.68. Therefore, our second approximation is smaller than our original of x is equal to 3. And this is a good sign, because remember when we did it electronically, we got 2.629, as shown in the graph. To find our third approximation, we'll repeat the entire calculation using 2.68 instead of 3. Let's go ahead and do that. f at 2.68 and f prime at 2.68. This should give us 0.8488. And this should give us 16.55. Once again, I'll take this number and divide it by this number. 0.8488 divided by 16.55. That gives us 0 0.05128. So I'm going to take that same equation as before. x2 plus 1 is equal to x2 minus 2.68 minus 0 0.0513 and this gives us 2.628 2.628 now since h is 0 0.0513 and getting smaller we know that it will have no further effect on the first decimal place so we stop there. Notice that 
x subscript 2 and x subscript 3, if we had rounded it to one decimal place, would have still given us 2.6. Therefore, our root to one decimal place is 2 decimal 6. One thing to keep in mind moving forward is that Newton's method will usually fail when the root you seek is near a maximum, minimum, or inflection point, or even near a discontinuity. If your approximations don't shrink rapidly as you repeat the computation, this might be the cause. There you have it. That is how to use Newton's method to approximate solutions of equations.